Okay, C. Lindelof videos particle motion. Now, actually, number three, we're given the function. This is the position function, so we're given this position function. So here's our position. And we're asked to find the average velocity from t is greater than zero to t is less than or equal to three pi halves. This question is definitely going to show up something like this on the multiple choice part of the exam. It's actually an easy question to answer. Just seeing the words average, average here, velocity. I know this is calculus, so what, you're going to, what you think you want to do is take derivatives. Remember, when you take a derivative, you're taking instantaneous slope. And what they're asking us for here is average slope. So we're going to use the average rate of change function. So we're going to have f of b minus f of a over b minus a, which translates for us into the change in s over the change in t, right? So that's all we're going to do here. We're going to take s of, I'm sorry, s of 3 pi halves, right? That's our b value. Our second value is b. This is our first value is a. Minus s of 0 over 3 pi halves minus 0. The evaluation of this is a little bit of a pain in the neck, so I'm going to evaluate this here if you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and evaluate this right here. So as I go to evaluate this, remember what I'm doing here. I'm just going to plug this into the thing. So I'm taking, what I'm looking for now is 3 sine of 1 half 3 pi halves, right? So if you go and look at that, you're, so I'm going to take 3 sine 1 half of 3 pi excuse me, 3 pi halves, right, plus 1. So that gives us sine of 3 pi fourths. So I, what I did was I went to the unit circle, and I actually evaluated that. So when I evaluated that, I ended up with this. So when I'm plugging into here, I ended up with 3 times the sine of that was equal to 3 square roots of 2 over 2, right? plus 1, this plus 1 comes from the equation, this plus 1 is this one, minus s of 0, so sine of 0 is 0, so plus 1 is plus 1 here, just to show you how I did this, over 3 pi halves minus 0, right? I'm just going to go ahead and keep evaluating this. This negative goes to this. I end up with 3 pi halves over 2. This becomes a complex fraction, so this comes up as its inverse, doesn't it? So times 2 over 3 pi halves. 2 over two, 2 over 2 is 1, right? 3 over 3 is 1. So our answer turns out to be square root of 2 over pi. Please don't be tempted to use your calculator to turn this into a number. This is the best answer you can get. This is the most exact answer. So here's your answer. Okay, guys, I hope this is helpful. If you have any comments to make, please make them. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks.